Hey guys, look Bug here and welcome to another FIFA 20 Pro Review and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the 82 rated Brazilian Manchester City striker Gabriel Jesus. Yes, we're doing yes another Manchester City player. I actually haven't even reviewed a Liverpool player yet. I think I need to uh, start uh, stop reviewing all these Manchester City players but there's just so many good Manchester City players in FIFA 20 and uh, Gabriel Jesus is one of them and actually one that I didn't pack uh, this year so far. Uh, hopefully I can maybe get him in like Division Rival Rewards or something but um, yeah, I picked him up for um, 36,000 coins in the five games that I played him with. He scored me five goals and got me two assists. And he does have a three-star weak thoughts as well as four-star skill moves. Moving along into his game stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 86 positioning, his 90 agility, his 86 dribbling, and finally his uh, 90 balance. And I did have the dead-eye chemistry style already just applied to Jesus, which I think is actually probably maybe even the second best chemistry style potentially for a, a striker this year obviously the hunter is a good chemistry style but the dead eye chemistry style gives insane boosts like with him with, with this jesus cards with the dead eye chemistry style, his positioning and his finishing both go to 99 i think the pukey uh, player of the month has all got a similar boost with the dead eye chemistry style it uh, has the potential to be very uh, one of the more sought after chemistry styles this year the dead eye because i'm sure they've like boosted it up in some way but um Anyway, enough of that. Let's focus on uh, how Jesus played in game. Uh, he's a great striker. Um, you know, I've reviewed quite a few Premier League strikers so far. You know, uh, Timo Puki, he's part of the month. Uh, Jamie Vardy, Marcus Rashford, Gabriel Jesus. I will still stand by the fact that I think the best striker in the Premier League that I've used so far in FIFA 20 probably would be Marcus Rashford, and he is the most expensive. Uh, about uh, ten to twenty thousand coins, maybe even thirty thousand coins more expensive than what this Jesus card goes for. But um, no, Jesus was really good. I liked him. Again, pace another important. Thing. He's there and thereabouts when it comes to pace and saying dribbling. And this is actually a downgrade on his FIFA 20 card as well. But um, I was very happy how he played in, you know, in game. And obviously, uh, seven goal contributions in five games in division rivals is uh, more than a good enough return. But for me, his first pro is going to be that finishing. Obviously, as I said before, with that day chem style, uh, you know, that positioning and finishing going to 99 is just, you know, unbelievable. If you can play for like icons and stuff like that, for example, you know, like Miroslav Close and like Ian Rush, you can play like half a million coins for those and you still wouldn't get like a better advantage when it comes to finishing than an 82 rated Gabriel Jesus it's absolutely crazy that's if you believe that actually chemistry styles give the boost that they say they do did it feel like a Jesus had 99 finishing no if I'm totally honest it didn't feel like that uh, maybe that's down to you know other parts of the card maybe not being quite so good for example maybe his shot power not necessarily the greatest although having said that his shot power goes to 88 with the uh, that I chemistry style but um, no uh, you know on the whole for, for his price and stuff like that I thought his finishing was very good especially on the right foot I don't think I scored any goals uh, with his left foot, which is obviously his weak foot. Freestyle weak foot, not the best, but, you know, it's not the worst at the same time. Force that scum, which is fantastic for a striker, obviously. And, um, yeah, I mean, finishing stats for the most part all round are just very, very good for his price at this stage of FIFA. A second pro as well will be his dribbling. Obviously, as I mentioned before, four-star skill, which is fantastic for the striker position. And obviously, the likes of 90 agility, 90 bars to make him feel very, very good and smooth on the ball. He's uh, also got really good ball control reactions. Uh, even his composure isn't too bad. Basically, all of his dribbling stats are at least in the 80s. Most of them in the uh, high 80s to even low 90s, which is absolutely fantastic. So, um, on the whole, very, very good card. I enjoyed him. It's interesting the fact that this year we might see cards like, you know, for example, Harry Kane and Luis Suarez. They might be like higher rated and stuff, but because they lack in pace, they're just simply not usable cards, in my opinion. Anyway, but cards like a Gabriel Jesus, uh, that Morella's card that we reviewed yesterday, um, cards like a Naki Williams, Marcus Rashford, Jamie Vardy, because they've got that pace and okay finishing stats. They're going to be absolutely insane for a long, long period this year. And even to the point where I would say cards like Gabriel Jesus are going to be very useful in foot champions. Certainly for the early few weeks, obviously, as we get into towards Christmas and stuff like that, they're going to be very much average. But for the first few weeks, you don't have to have players like, um, you know, Aubameyang and, you know, Sergio Grower in your team. Obviously, if you've got the coins, by all means, go and buy them. But cards like this Gabriel Jesus, they're going to do the business for you. You know, he was really, really good. I enjoyed him. Yes, I'd like him to have a bit more physicality as well, but you can't have everything with this card. I think for the price that you're paying him for, I think he's very good. I think he's reliable. Do I think he's as good as Rockus Rashford, not quite. Rashford's got that little bit of extra pace that I liked um, and I think was a bit better on, on the physical side overall and, and maybe passing as well, but um, listen, you can't fault the Sazu's card. I thoroughly enjoyed him. I think it would be money well spent if you're thinking about getting him and um, yeah, this is a card that I would definitely recommend buying, but anyway guys, that is going to finish up this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.